Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Got another good question from Bob Rutan. Sorry, Bob, I still don't know how to pronounce your last name. Who said, uh, talked about a problem with the shape tools in CS5 and now in CN6. And what used to happen is you would add a shape and in CS5 there would be a vector mask and that would leave a little tiny kind of line around the outside and make it not look quite as sharp and the way to get rid of that was to click off that layer. The problem is in CS6 the way these new vector shape layers work it works a little bit differently so I'm gonna just I've already got a, a fill here I've got it set to shape and I'm gonna add my shape you can see very clearly it is a path and the problem is now when you look at the display there is no option to say click off the mask there isn't one now it still works the same way that if you click off the layer you see the sharper looking edge without that but if you want to continue to work on this layer the option you can use to get rid of this display is called target path so command shift H or control shift H is the shortcut for show that target path and hide it. So when it's hidden, you can still be clicked on the shape layer, but now you don't see that little tiny extra bit of a line around the outside. Now in CS5, if you decide you want to change the color shape, you double click on the color swatch as opposed to the mask. Here, you just there's only one thumbnail, so you double click on it, goes to the color picker, and you can choose whatever color you want. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.